another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the last set of the North American team battles that I've got. This is the Super Ace. So I honestly have not kept track of what team was up because it was kind of ad hoc teams all together. And I think it was mostly, again, just a uh, rough format for these guys to just play matches. So this is going to be a rematch between Gypsy and Hawk. And if I was going to quote Gypsy heads up as far as what he's saying, I, I went potato mode or played like a potato or something along those lines probably and wants a rematch. I'm not sure what to say about last match. Hawk doing a great job of being absolutely everywhere in the match. It just felt like as far as like a game of tag it goes with Zerglings and Ultralisks flooding across the field, Gypsy was constantly a few steps behind. Also, it just seemed like there were a lot of engagements where the Marines were separated from medics. And when you have adrenal upgraded zerglings they just chew through it and they just seem they also hawk did a good job of making it so the science vessels couldn't do their job and just go up and started radiating a lot of the units at a distance it looks like we are going to see an overlord scout movie the upper left hand corner bsl season 13 is starting i have some replays as far as previews from either just the announcement tournament i might have chobo league tour replays coming down the line so look for those upper right corner we are seeing a looks like an overpool from hawk so playing a little bit safer right here. It doesn't look like Gypsy. Well, it's potentially Gypsy is going to go for a command center first build, but it looks like currently he's just going to play it safe and go for a Rax opening, not going for a front door seal this time. This is on Polypoid, by the way. It was interesting when I actually, uh, it's a little bit late to do so, but I initially opened the map. I'm like, is this Polypoid? Because it has the hallucinated Kakaru around that spawn. I think it's just fun with those map artifacts uh, here and there. But anyway. So it's kind of a, this is like a rematch, and I'm wondering if this is Gypsy needing to prove something to himself. By the way, catch out, uh, catch the uh, Gypsy versus Artosis, or sorry, Gypsy versus Artosis. Gypsy versus Scan matches that Artosis hosted. Those were fantastic. Hawk going ahead and grabbing his spawning pool SCV scout moving up. It's going to go ahead and see it in that smaller form rather than the larger form, so knows that it was plopped recently, which lets him know that there was more of a pool first opener. Barracks online now also being able to wander up and see that gas I think that gas was taken a little bit later But this is lining up for more of a two hatch optional build two zerglings or two pairs of zerglings So four zerglings in total going to be built actually going for the full cadre of zerglings. So I'm wondering if Hawk is Going to go for that standard two hatch or if he's wanting to get more zerglings out on the field at the moment to put gypsy in the dark and maybe try to play something different from here because uh, with that plus one weapons upgrade and just kind of that standard execution, Gypsy has shown himself to be formidable. And actually, the Zergling is getting a significant amount of damage on that SCV scout. And with that full six, Gypsy doing what he can to try to keep them alive. And the Zerglings, now that they have the full six, are going to break off that SCV trying to stay alive in that corner. We are seeing a layer. So this is looking more standard play. Bunker plop down still single barracks and we do see i'm looking for engineer and actually never mind just command center so skipping a lot of stuff getting that command center down getting the bunker down the zerglings inbound might be able to get a run by a single zergling left back it looks like it was able to kill that scv second scv moving out gypsy still wanting to keep that scout wants to see if there's a third hatchery that's going to be planted somewhere out in the field the zerglings being pushed back by three Marines in that bunker. Second barracks being plopped. So it looks like this is going to be more of a standard. So rather than going for that plus one weapons, it's going to be more the engineer, probably the academy, then the engineering bay, and the three barracks uh, early sort of build, something that you'll see Artosis execute uh, more often. I think this is kind of like the bread and butter sort of thing. Zerling speed is being upgraded. Lair is coming online as well. And no third hatchery being positioned to take from Hawk for, for Hawk yet. It looks like he wants to, yeah. And I'm wondering if this is just going to be a pure two hatch Zergling all in from Hawk as a result, because he's really wanting to take out this SCV scout. You can see all the Zerglings. He's doing a pretty good job of boxing men. This is actually a huge moment here. Gypsy not able to spot that three o'clock to see whether there was a hatchery there or not. Layer up, looking for that Spire to drop momentarily. There's the Spire at that natural. He's potentially wanting to hide it. There's the academy. And I think Gypsy got to smell something here. He's dropping another supply depot at his front door to provide a little bit more of a, a seal. The Zergling's going to go ahead and they're wandering up and kind of testing that front door. But it looks like Hawk is, yeah, I think this might be just st straight, well, it might be just straight up Mutalisk. Second gas being grabbed a little bit earlier. So I'm wondering if this is just going to be all in Muta. 
and three drones in there. This is about uh, right around the, the five minute mark he's doing this. Stim upgraded, engineering bay going up. Still sitting at two barracks. And Gypsy, I think, is in a situation where he's in the dark. He's going to have to wait and see. This is a an additional hatchery. Finally, this feels really late. Maybe I'm off on my build times, but additional hatchery being grabbed in that bottom right hand corner. I think there's going to be more Mutalisks in the early game from Hawk. Initial comm set. I want to try to see what Gypsy saw. Scanning the main. So he's he sees the lair, but he doesn't see the spire going up right here. Second comp sat will be there momentarily, but the thing is, is I still think Gypsy will play a little bit preventatively, get the additional turrets down. There's the third barracks. Second scan. Now sees the spire, also sees the eggs morphing. Gypsy getting uh, turrets to the corner. He already has, looks like two turrets going up at that natural. Range on the way. And level one weapons coming a bit later. Still some Zerglings hanging out here to the natural. But I'm wondering if, yeah, Hawk's just going to go much more heavily. And never mind. He's got that evolution chamber going in. So, and getting that carapace, which suggests he is going to fold back over. So maybe he's going to try to do heavier Mutalus, try to skip Lurker. And just rely on his Mutalus Micro to protect this bottom right hand base. while well, he gets that third established. And go into something pseudo Crazy Zerg style, although skipping the creep colonies on the front. Actually, not because usually with Crazy Zerg styles, like a lot of Mulus, can you drop creep colonies here uh, to be a little bit more defensive? Six Mulus wandering up, being pushed back across that. Hawk's been very aggressive with his Mulusks up to this stage. He's still getting that level and weapons upgrade. He's grabbing that third gas very, very rapidly. So I think, yeah, that's the play here. Gypsy looking to press out on the map the larger grouping of Medic Marines. Keep in mind, you don't have that level one uh, weapons. I like Hawk's engagement point. Trying to get basically where there's like a lack of vision right there. Able to pick off two Marines, not taking a lot of damage thus far. Gypsy getting out on the map, trying to provide, trying to create that threat. More Zerglings being produced. And yeah, I think Hawk is going to try to group up with these Mutalisks, with these Zerglings. And try to, he's trying to preserve the Mutalisks thus far. He's got a full control group right there, but he wants to swat this Medic Marine ball down entirely. <clears throat> The Zerglings waiting on that high ground, trying to bait that in. Gypsy going ahead and backing off. Third gas up and running. Hawk cycling around, able to losing a Mules, but able to pick <clears throat> Marine up. Critically here, there is going to be a window where that level one weapons is up for Hawk. <clears throat> and Gypsy's not going to have his level one uh, weapons come uh, on the other side of the field. Double starport working in, and Gypsy just holding that high ground. Not providing a lot of threat, so Hawk... Happily sitting, it looks like he has paused. He's continued with this Mulus production, but has paused the Zergling creation. He's trying to hide these Zerglings. I'm not sure if Gypsy scanned or found them or not. Gypsy now midfield. The Zergling's cycling around. He actually might dive on this natural expansion. Still hunting for that Medic Marine Ball. Now the Zergling's diving in. <clears throat> The SEV's pulling off the line to engage that, and that's just getting wiped out. Great defense right there, and the Mutalus trying to regather, and with that, Gypsy like, okay, I can get, if you're just going to expend all of those Zerglings and not have any something colonies on your front door, I can go ahead and attack, potentially all in, the natural expansion. Hawk in the red. More Mutalus being produced. This is a huge amount of Mutalus, by the way. Hawk continuing to try to micro. He's going to maybe even have two control groups. Of it right there. Love on weapons. <clears throat> They're on both sides. Mules getting wiped out. Zerglings getting caught a little bit with their pants down. More reinforcements scooting up. They're able to swat down those Zerglings without taking a lot of damage. Another Overlord getting picked off. That's two Overlords very, very early. Hawk trying to again use that Muta Micro to pick this Medic Marine Force off so he can. And still refusing to put creep colonies down on his front. A couple of Mutalists just gonna be caught. With their pants down, and now Gypsy walking into that natural expansion, critically able to stop some of that gas production, and Hawk losing additional Mutalisks. He was hoping, I think, that his Mutalisk Micro was going to be able to push through this, but Gypsy just walking in with these Medic Marines. And you can see where that skip to Lurker did not pay off for him. Was hoping to get it done just with Mutalisks, but just wasn't able to... 
to make it happen. That Spire going to get wiped out. That Natural Expansion wiped out. It looks like that's going to be GG. This is before the Ultralisk Caverns even online. Evolution Chamber going to get wiped out. This is before Science Vessels are there. More Mulus being produced, but they're just frying. They're just getting obliterated. There's GG from Hawk. Nice attempt, but you can see where if... You can overproduce. You can try to produce the Zerglings there, but if you lose your attack force right there and you don't have that threat to be able to wipe out that Medic Marine Ball when you're skipping Lurkers right there, uh, yeah, you just end up losing the game in between. Hawk dropping that match. Gypsy getting, I guess, the revenge win. I've seen the uh, Lurker skip work out like once or twice, but it's just really difficult, and you really do have to have that Precision Mulesk uh, microplay. But anyway, that was... All of the NA Team Battle replays I have. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Check out all of these guys. Check out Gypsy. Special thanks again to Gypsy for getting me these replays. Uh, it's just been a, a, an absolute delight. Check out HawkSC on Twitch. Check out Gypsy93 on Twitch. In the meantime, I'm going to grab some BSL 13 games. Thanks for listening.